questions for reflection. Today is the great feast of Corpus Christi, Latin for body of Christ. It is the name given to the feast of the body and blood of Jesus. That is what is given to us in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist, the very body and blood of Jesus Christ. On this day, through our readings at Mass, the homily, and our participation in Holy Mass, we are reminded that Jesus Christ really, truly gives Himself to us, body, blood, soul, and divinity. We're also reminded of our missionary call to give Him to others. There's an ancient and beautiful custom in the Latin rite of the Catholic Church, the Corpus Christi procession. The consecrated host, the body of the Lord, is reposed in what is called a monstrance. The term is derived from a Latin phrase meaning to show or reveal. And the faithful process the body of the Lord through the streets surrounding their church buildings. This Eucharistic procession can be a powerful witness to an age which has lost its sense of the sacred. In our first reading from the book of Deuteronomy, we're given four verses from chapter 8. In that chapter, Moses is warning the people of God not to forget that the Lord led them out of slavery in Egypt then through and out of the desert. And among the many miracles, he fed them with manna from heaven in that desert. For Christians, we know that this heavenly bread, this manna, prefigured the great gift of the Holy Eucharist. In his Psalm of Praise, David the Psalmist picks up on the theme, praising the Lord for feeding his people with the finest wheat, the bread of heaven. And the Apostle Paul speaks to the Corinthians of the living bread come down from heaven, Jesus who gives himself to us, body, blood, soul, and divinity, in the most holy sacrament of the altar, the Eucharist. In the gospel appointed for this feast, Jesus speaks with absolute clarity. The Bible, the early church fathers, the Christian tradition, and the magisterium of the Catholic Church all teach that the bread and wine consecrated at Holy Mass truly become the body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ, the divine Son of God. This great mystery is at the heart of the Catholic Christian faith. Jesus still tells his disciples what he taught the first disciples. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. To which many of the disciples responded, this saying is hard, who can accept it? And as a result, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied him. Sadly, many Catholics no longer accompany him today. Jesus Christ is present with us here on earth and with the Father in heaven. This is the great mystery and the great blessing of the Father's loving plan for humanity. His Son did not come to earth only to dwell among us for 33 years. He's alive and continuing His redemptive mission through His mystical body, the Church, of which we are all members through baptism. He also came to dwell among us in His real presence in the most blessed sacrament. This is also the day when I celebrate my ordination to the diaconate in Christ, because this event, which changed my entire life and ordered me for service in Christ, occurred on this feast, I always celebrate the feast as my ordination anniversary, rather than the calendar day. I knew then and have only grown to understand more deeply with each passing year how significant it was that the Lord who called me to ordain ministry as a member of the clergy, a deacon, also allowed me to root my service as a member of the clergy in the rich and deep meaning of this marvelous feast. Do we really believe that when we receive the consecrated bread and wine in Holy Communion, we receive Jesus Christ, His body and blood? We do.